Okay, so I wanted to look here on all this feedback, because there's a lot of good feedback that's being collected on the thing. Well, on the uh, forums. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so oh, there's a lot of feedback here. You can see uh, female midlander, Viera changes. Ooh, okay. Viera changes. Personally, I'm really unhappy with how the Viera changes have turned out. The lighting is strange. My character seems to be constantly illuminated regardless of being in shadow. That's not a major issue compared to the eyes. Oh god, the eyes. She looks dead behind the eyes. Okay, let's let's compare. To my bun bun here. Uh you can see the buns that I got. Now I'm really happy with my bun, but the lighting is gonna be really different than what we're used to. Oh my god, did you hear that? Did you hear that giant horking sound that Nora just made? Because here's my bun. So, here we go. She is sleeping, yeah. He said, I think the blame for a lot of this negativity is on Square Enix for not fixing the character creation lighting. Absolutely true, yes. They definitely should have done an overhaul of character creation lighting and lighting settings that you have available during character creation to go along with this because, uh, yeah, I can't believe they didn't do that. Well, actually I can, but <laughs> actually I can, but so I don't think that she looks dead behind. I don't. She doesn't look dead to me. But, okay. Yep. I'll pull this up. They also need to take the blue overlay off the character creation screen. Changes the way all the colors look. Oh, you mean like when this when the cloud passes over and it's sort of blue-green? When the cloud passes over the sun and it changes the colors unpredictably? Yeah, I really don't like that. Um, because, like, sometimes when this happens and you go from... Like here, I look like dead fish colors, but it's just the way that the colors are reflecting. And then here, it's totally different colors. It's warmer. Like some of that is good to test, but I... And here it looks really blue and dark. There's not a really good like base level default creation environment that is more neutral like maybe this is fine but then the the lighting is really weird and there's like harsh shadows on the jaw so far i've been using this this felt like the most natural sun but it's it's actually not <laughs> he said nothing good with a wet and oily bun <laughs> I mean, she doesn't seem that... She seems dewy. I think the skin looks dewy. Okay, but... The eyes look like they're constantly half-closed, which is caused by a shadow on the upper half of the eye. Previously, her eyes seemed bright and open. Now they feel dark, closed, and sad. I think it's just a... It's a it, this is a lighting issue. Straight up. I see what you're talking about. But I don't think that we can compare one to one anymore. But, but I... Uh, it's like if you take a flashlight and you turn it on under your face, it's what this looks like. And it seems like a pretty strong light coming from this direction. Yeah. Here's a bun. Boy, bunnies are just not okay. They share the same problem as everyone else. 
Dead eyes. Ugly flat lips. Creepy wax skin. But we're done dirty with the noses. <clears throat> the dot side is made even more dark, even if it wasn't before. <clears throat> the underside looks green, yellow. Mm. You said all these complaints are in the character creator. The new lighting is so good in motion in the actual benchmark. That's what I'd be interested to hear. Like, do the people who have the issue with the way the character looks in character creator have that same problem in the actual like animated cutscenes that you can run the character through? Because the, that's what I'm seeing a lot of as well here. <clears throat> Viera changes uh, our raw feedback. Apologize if my thread belongs elsewhere. I don't really use forms, so I was unsure. I appreciate the development team's hard work on the new graphical update. I know some changes are inev inevitable. I would just take some time getting used to, but I made my character in the new benchmark. I could not get over the very dark eyeshadow that now comes pre-packaged with Aura Male Phase 3. Okay, so this is the four. I mean, above, sorry. And uh, this is currently, this is Dawn Trail. I mean, with the aura, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> As you can see, the eyelid in the inner corner of the eye is noticeably darker. Yeah, it is. It's a shadow. It's a, it's a shadow there. I can kind of understand what they're going for. I can see some people enjoying the change, but I'm not among them. My question is, do you still see this dark spot in every angle that you're looking at the character from in every environment? Or is it just a shadow? Like, is this a... I mean, I can check it right now. <laughs> yeah, I can check it right now. Okay, let me hide this. And this is the guy he had. Okay, so it's rather dark here. Man, it looks so sexy, though. Like, he looks so good. <laughs> I feel like I'm just looking for problems. Uh, okay, so here it's quite dark. Here it's also pretty dark. But I think it might be the shadow from the brow bone. It's, it's, I think that's actually just what it is. I don't know if they went through and added additional darkness there. Maybe they did. But... Yeah, yeah. I think maybe they did. But before, it really looked so flat and worse. It looked more cartoony before. But the eyes definitely looked brighter because it was less dark there. I mean, yeah, I see what you're saying. I, maybe that should be a toggle, actually, because it actually does look like they added some darkness to it. You did have both Benchmark and the game open and the stream set up. Was it too much? Uh, I don't think so, because I often have multiple games open while I'm streaming. <laughs> yeah, it looks like makeup, but it still looks good. I think so, too. I think whenever I killed Melania, I had F14 open the entire time. <laughs> okay, Aura player checking in. I'm personally upset about the lip changes on my character. I made my character's lips white as I wanted her to have a pale, ghostly appearance, and it went well with the glossiness of the original lips. Now I feel the new lips are too flat for my word of light and too visible compared to my original perception. To me, it looks like her lips have been filled. You know what? I completely agree with this one. I This is so based. Like, I, I completely, I'm in total agreement with this because I also like to do my character where I put a, uh, like a skin colored lip gloss. So it kind of 
fades out and I don't like the lips to look like I'm wearing lip liner in lipstick. So you're completely correct for this. And this is an issue that I had with a lot of faces. Um, in general, like our raw looks quite good, but I think the lips look better before in a lot of faces. A lot of them, cause look, everything else looks amazing. Uh, but this lips on the left look more realistic to me. On the right, it looks more like doll lips. Here, yeah. This is very noticeable to me, too. Completely agree. I completely agree with this. Do you think the old lips are worse? Here's something about the old lips I can notice. It seems like the shape has changed somewhat. And the top, if you look at the top lip, it's less defined. It's kind of more blurred into the skin compared to now, where you can see, you can really trace the entire line of the lips around, which is slightly darker than the rest, which I personally don't like. So you, I, I agree with that one completely. Okay, it seems like if your Aura has a darker skin tone, the transition from scales to skin on Aura are scu scuffed beyond belief. Oh my God. Okay, let me look. Let me confirm, because that does... Okay, all right, let me check, let me check. Here's our boy. Here's a boy. Let's get... Take his clothes off. Uh, give him a darker skin. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I definitely see. You can see here, <clears throat> there's like kind of white edges around on the back. Yeah, I, I do. I definitely see what he's talking about. It's not everywhere, but there's a lot of spots where you see these little white pixels peeking out. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. Like, here, you, you see it. Okay. Yeah, look who... Yeah, that's something that's worth looking at. That's something worth looking at. Looks like they messed, messed up the texture mask by a few pixels. If you do it with the light skin, I bet it's not noticeable. Yeah. So if you have a light skin, you can't really tell. But the darker skins definitely show it, like here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, that's fair. Live letter May. All right, let's look back. That's a valid concern. That's valid. Oh, it's also here on the neck. Yeah, he, there's good pictures here, so I confirmed it's there. This is awful. I hope it gets corrected before release. Yeah, I hope so, too. <clears throat> there's still time for them to make these small changes, so I hope they do. This is the Aura feedback thread on the forums, which has... Oh, my God. <laughs> what? This is damn. My character's lost her whole bitchy vibe. I used three lips, and now they look way worse for me they're bigger and more smiley now i mean i don't really like these changes again i agree with the lips feedback completely pupils look bigger whoa actually yeah the pupils look much bigger not sure if i like it or not does she still have a bitchy vibe yes yes i do think so i do think she does <laughs> But the eye, the the change with the eyes is pretty significant here from before and after. I think I kind of do prefer after. Um, but I, I almost wish that would be a toggle, like how big you want your pupils to be. The lips definitely seem more full and more smiley than before. I do agree with that. This reminds me of when World of Warcraft did their uh, character overhaul, and they changed my character's face to be smiley. I'll never. Oh my god. I was so upset. 
all the night elf faces got changed to be smiley like every single fucking one there was one the face i used back in classic was the one that looked like a poker face and i love that and then the overhaul came and they gave her a big smile and I'll, I can never use it again. It's sad. Like, this is so much better than what World of War, what Blizzard did. <laughs> this is so much better than what happened then. <clears throat> uh, lack of gloss. Okay. Like, I definitely... I gotta give the credit to Square Enix for... Making more of an effort to preserve little details of character, little eccentricities and things of different faces more than, um, than Blizzard did. Like, with Blizzard, oh my god, people would lose their shit. And they, they did, rightfully so, because there were some faces that are just gone. They just completely removed some fucking faces that you'll never get to use again. <laughs> Uh, female Ara, face type 4, mouth type 1, has noticeably different lips. And change- yeah, it's the lips! It's the lips! Changes on my character looks quite a bit. So, before and after. It's more- it's more smiley. It's the same thing that other people are upset about. We had someone in the chat yesterday who was like, I think they said that they work on 3D models and they have to do rigging for animation and that that's the reason why a lot of times the like the lips get um, standardized to be like this across a lot of different models because it's going to be easier later on for animating and I know that's what actually what happened with uh, Blizzard when they did their update. So I wonder if that's something that they had in mind. <clears throat> Top of the lips are, is just fuller. I'm checking in here. Someone else is disappointed with the mouth shape. Lack of lip gloss. So is there no more lip gloss at all for Aura? Let me check. Let me check right now. Aura female. Lips. Color. Yeah, that's odd. I mean, here you can see a gloss. But I think this is an issue not really so much about the gloss. It's more about the shape. I don't... I mean... <laughs> I'm not... Yeah, I don't know. Let's change... Maybe try to change the mouth shape. This is the most thin one. That's probably the closest to what they had before. That looks pretty similar. But the others got much thicker, I feel like. Like, this reminds me almost of that, um... There's a Mikote face that has super, super... Thick, plump lips. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that. Lighting affects how glossy they look now. Yeah, I think that's the issue when we're talking about the gloss. The lighting will affect that. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Glad I wasn't the only one to notice. The scales look awesome. They do. The scales look amazing. And I think in general, uh, Aura is one of the winners. My girl is not the same anymore. I'm so sad. Messed up lips so bad. It's not the same at all. Even the nose shape seems different. Again, we're looking at shadows. We're looking at different shadows. Okay, so that's the Aura feedback. Keeper Fangs nerfed. This is a serious problem. <laughs> I talked about this a good bit yesterday, so I don't really want to harp on it for too long today. But this is something that maybe we should just talk about every single day until they fix it because it's horrible. I can't believe they got rid of the Keeper Fangs. The moon cat fangs are gone. What the fuck? What the fuck? How could they do this? I mean, look. Listen. Hear me out. I shouldn't say this. I shouldn't say this, but... 
if you really miss the fangs on your character, I mean, there's gonna be a way to restore that for yourself. You know, like, create, you know, the players, they're resourceful. And there are ways of bringing imagination into reality. I mean, that I've heard of, that I've maybe not recommended to do, but could be a thing that you could look into doing. <laughs> Alert live stream. <laughs> I mean, I'm just... Namazu are cute and I love them. This is a really good post. Wow, the forums are not so bad. The forums are not too bad. <laughs> Graphical update. Remove makeup from faces. I noticed female Highlanders seem to have forced eyeliner or eyeshadow. Most of the females of all races have a very dark top eye ridge. Uh-huh. I mean, that looks good. Where is it? That looks pretty good. Makeup appearance options should be under faith facial features. Female Ella's in facial feature, which I still think the slight shadow it has by default should be removed is a good example of how makeup should be an option. I believe Highlanders should also have an option like this. First photo is without the feature. Second is with. Okay, this is without and this is with. Uh... I literally can't tell the difference. What am I? S I actually have no idea. Like, I can't. It's like corporate wants you to tell the difference between these pictures. <laughs> the same picture. I think it's supposed to be eyeshadow. Oh, okay. It's like slightly more gray on the top. <clears> hmm. <throat> It's very slight. Yeah, I can see it now. I can see it now. It's super, super gentle. Yeah, I see that. So, the issue is that with the Highlander, you have a forced eyeliner. Well, let me check. Let me check. That's the case. Highlander. Okay. Oh. Face. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Can you remove it? No, you can't. Alright. That's valid. Yeah, I think that is actually a totally valid complaint. Because that is that is definitely eyeliner. It's not a shadow. It's definitely eyeliner, which is a good feature to have as an option, but um, shouldn't be baked into the face. Like you can even see the line where it goes out away from the corner of the eye. Uh, so yeah, I think that's totally valid. Yeah, it's good feedback. It's minor stuff, but these are it's the, the devils in the details, you know. These are the little things. You have to think about it, the fact that in Final Fantasy XIV, you spend so much time, you're spending like hundreds of hours in cutscenes where you're staring at every detail on your character's face, okay? It's not like in other games where you might forget that you had like, even what color your uh, character's eyes are. It's not like that. In FF14, like half the game revol revolves around you staring intensely at your character's face. <laughs> so, uh, I think that this is... In other games, this might be really nitpicky. But in FF14, it's not. It's also... Another thing is, in FF14, 
you do everything on the same fucking character. It's not like you have 20 characters that you're, you know, alting between with different appearances for each one. You have one character. You're like most people. <laughs> have that. It's like my precious, my one, my only and everything revolves around that. So you, you're sinking a ton of time in just that one perfect character. So, of course, people are going to feel... I think, actually, all things considered, people are being way more chill about this than uh, than I I would have expected. Like, it's not even as bad as uh, I, I thought it would be. Which is probably another reason why they didn't go too, too far on a lot of these changes. They tried to keep it as similar to the old look as possible, because if they went too far, people would actually riot. Uh, but yeah, remove makeup and faces. I think that's totally valid. The Aura complaints about the lips changing, the lip shape changing, and the way uh, it it's looks in general looking t too different from before, I think that's also valid. Um, Keeper fangs... I'm also as I'm I feel strongly about that one just because I played a Mooncat for years and years and years uh, before Viera I was Mooncat and a big reason I picked Mooncat was because yeah the fangs that you get we need to compromise the player base please keep posting technical and jarring issues you're finding that need to be addressed however let's keep in mind that upgrading the graphics is a net benefit to the game and if some changes alter the look somewhat and are subjective we will have to compromise to make sure this game can go into the future along with us. I'm sure we'll find something we like with the Fantasia. And especially, here's my, here's my advice to you. If you don't like your character, uh, use the Fantasia and change to a Viera because uh, <laughs> the Viera looks amazing. If you're already a Viera, I don't know, maybe try Bun Boy. If you're a bun boy, maybe try bun girl. Uh, it's just going to look, you're going to look better. No matter what your problem was before, you're going to look better as a viewer. <laughs> yeah. Does it mean you're going to have tiny scholar hats? And like all your hats are going to be tiny so you can squeeze them between your ears? Yeah. It's worth it. It is worth it to look amazing in every armor piece in the game. Like... Can you even imagine picking up a piece of armor as a Viera and be like, oh, this isn't going to look good? No, you can't. It's like you have the, uh, you can, sh any anything is going to look good on your character. You're like a supermodel. You're tall. You're athletic. You have ears. You have giant, giant ears. Elf's got a really good upgrade too. Oh my god, you're so right about that, Pale Quail. I, uh, yesterday, when I spent five and a half hours in the character creator, <laughs> Um, I made a really sexy male Ellison. I can't believe I'm saying that. But also, uh, the male Ellison's older face? Actually quite good now. Really good now. Uh, Highlander Eyebrows 7.0. I know what this is about before even clicking on it. In case... <laughs> <laughs> this was the last bit of copium about can Highlanders get eyebrows? Uh, it's gone. You're not getting them. In case anyone doesn't know, male Highlanders cannot have eyebrows. The eyebrow option only changes brow shape, but they're hairless. In all choices, the only way to have brows since launch is to use makeup option. That's what Asmongold did. And paint them on. And honestly, this does not look good. Uh, let me show you. <laughs> so, if you don't know what I'm talking about. I do not think this looks good. But it's the only option. If you want eyebrows. Okay, yes. Highlander. As you can see. My man lacks eyebrows of any sort. And this option only changes the brow bone shape. And so therefore, uh, if you want eyebrows, the only thing you can do is add this like gigantic, comical looking, um, thick ass face paint that's supposed to look kind of like eyebrows. I can't believe this is still the only way, even after they have it. 
Okay, and then you need to find a f color, a face paint that's gonna match. <laughs> so what people do is they'll make, okay, well, I guess black, because there's no other color that's gonna match his current hair color, right? So all these other ones look really, really bad. <laughs> so that therefore I need to change my hair color to black and now it's gonna look more like eyebrows but it's but it's not it's not and so this is then gonna limit the hair colors that you can choose honestly this looks better now after the graphics update than it did um I wonder does it follow your eyebrow bone yeah, it actually does. So now it does even follow your brow bone, which it didn't before. So they improved this jank method for you. <clears throat> yeah, it's this now, you know, if you look from far away, it actually, it looks more like real eyebrows and not like you used a Sharpie to paint them on your face. It feel, I mean, yeah, from here, it's like, I guess if I didn't know already about what he does, then I, I probably wouldn't know if you, but if you do know, but you know what? I bet there is a creative player solution for this issue as well. Uh, I mean, I'm just guessing. You know, something in the realm of imagination that probably solves this issue if it bothers you a lot. Something that I wouldn't know about, but that could exist. <laughs> Starts with an M? Yes, imagination. <laughs> Anyway, uh, please give Highlanders actual eyebrows. I get that there's lore reasons. Wait, is there lore reasons? Wait a minute. Really? I did not know that. Is it that they're growing up in Panalon and in Alamigo where it's really hot? And it just, it's so hot, the sun actually singes off your eyebrows. Is that? <laughs> I think that's the lore, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, that's... Lack of eyebrows is single-handedly the only reason why I don't play male Highlander. I have character appearance saved, but just didn't look... It looks better now, I gotta say. It's still not as good as having actual hair there, but it's, um... <laughs> Embrace your lack of eyebrows. Vanity need not control you. <laughs> what a Chad. <laughs> okay. That's base. Because the reason why he can't have eyebrows is because he has that orange hair and there's no good eyebrow color that matches the orange hair. Here's an option. You could do hair like he has here. Uh, you could have the uh, the hair with bangs that covers your brow bone so that way no one will know. Yeah. That's, a, that's an option. We can have mid slash Highlander mixed races with eyebrow. I would love that personally. So, um, is this all the main things? A female Midlander. How are we feeling? I'm a female Midlander, a phase five user. I know that some users have already written about the changes made to phase five, but I'm writing to add more detailed examples and comments. Only thing I want is lighter makeup. Um. Okay, at first, so this is 6.58 version, and then benchmark version. Um, are you sh The hair looks better than in 6.58. Like, the hair looks a little better to me. 6.5 in-game version. 
let me check. Cause let me check. Let me check. This is phase five. Midlander. Uh, female. Midlander. Okay. Hair. No, that's it. Hold on. I need to look in the current game character creator to check that. It feels like people being like, where are my minuscule mod changes? Because I can't tell a difference. Yeah, a lot of these times I struggle to see a difference. But I think this is the case for me with Pure. And characters that I didn't play a lot. Like for me, the Mikoto changes I can see really clearly. The Viera changes I can also see. Because these are characters I've stared at for a lot longer. So character bodies are the same as before. Yeah. There's plenty of talk and post about how the graphical update is, okay? The bodies are the same. Fingers and toes seem to have improved, and nails are more obvious now. Yoshibi did say that they tried to increase the number of polygons as much as they could, although I personally think they should strive to make them look as good as they should be. However, the rest of the body hasn't changed. Shadows might be improved, but overall it's the same. The way muscles like the biceps or pecs look, shape of the area such as the collarbone the navel and nipples there are no nipples there's no nipples there's indentions but it's not nips there's no nip nips. you can still see the polygon-esque shapes on the waist yeah but they're not gonna they're not gonna change it because most of the time you are gonna have a uh, clothes on <laughs> I guess it depends on who you are. This is quite apparent and jarring since some new stuff such as clothing is more polygons while characters are still stuck in Realm Reborn Fidelity. I wish they would add nipples and more muscles de definition and hair options. Yeah, I would be I would be all for that. I think this is valid too. I mean, there's a reason people go to other sources to change the way their characters' bodies look. But uh, it seems like something they just decided not to really address too much, even though they did handle the fingers and toes at least. Um, okay, so this is all the main stuff. I think we've seen it. All right, why are Hrod the gals shorter than Hroth? Guy? Oh, are they? Oh my god. Froth Gals cap out at 78.5 inches, 199 centimeters. Froth Guys reach a height of 83.8 inches, 212 centimeters. But they're hunched over, right? And I'm just overall extremely baffled by that decision. Hmm. <laughs> I thought, it says, since the Hroth gals lack the shrimping posture that the males have, it's disappointing. I don't think it'd be too much to ask for them to be at least as tall as femros, or even shorter. Who cares? Some people do. Some people do cares a lot. How tall is the tallest Fiera? Will I be taller than a Hroth girl on my maximum height, Viera? Like, who's the actual tallest race? Hroth gals are a mistake. <laughs> raid. Hey! I completely disagree. That's so incorrect. I mean, I'm sitting here. I wear bunny ears every day. I am furry adjacent. So I'm here to uh, support my furry brethren and brothers and sisters here completely uh i like zootopia i thought that movie was really good so i mean i can't say shit <laughs> i can't yeah i can't say shit do the bunny ears go to starbucks with you i can't afford starbucks but hey you know what's a um fun fact buck 
a buck is actually the name for a male bunny. Did you know that? Yes. Uh, anyway, okay. So I looked through all this. I've seen the feedback. There's some things I agree with a lot. There's some things I don't agree with as much. Holy shit. I, actually, the Highlander eyebrows thread got five pages on it. It's five pages of people talking about how they want eyebrows for Highlanders. No way. Oh, no. They just used it to talk about other stuff. There's graphical glitches and clipping issues. Oh, the eyebrow paint hasn't been upscaled. Now sits higher on the face, so it looks awful. But there's other things that are outright, outright broken. Facial tattoo clips into the face on both sides for no reason. Oh, shit. Hair now randomly clips into the character's neck, even on flat textures. I've got to check this out right now. No way. No way. Hold up. Let's look at our Highlander. Man. Get rid of the beard. Okay. I'll move the hair to... Okay, so he said... <clears throat> This is concerning. This is an actual issue, if I can find it. The facial tattoo clips into the face on both sides. Okay, let's check that first. Uh, tattoos? Hmm. Oh, yeah! Oh my god, it does! Oh my god, it does! He was right! Oh my god. Holy shit. He is right. So that's an issue. <laughs> okay, that's really bad. That's really, really, really bad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, this is while the character is totally idle. During certain animations, the whole tattoo below the jaw vanishes into his neck. Yeah, it does. Oh my god! What the fuck? It really just goes into his neck. What? Oh no. That is super bad. It's a mess. What about on the other side? Yeah, the other side too. Got the tattoo inside out. Yes, it's really cursed. There's also an issue. Hair now randomly clips into the character's neck. Okay, so let me check the hairstyle. This happens on almost all non-idle animations. Okay, let me just check this one. This one looks okay. It's not for this hairstyle. It was the one that's like kind of spiky at the top as the one he showed in his example. So I'll try to find that one. Uh, let's try the... Mm, yeah, this one. I think that's the one I've seen. Yeah, it does! I'd seen it here. <laughs> yeah, there it again. Oh, it's really bad. Oh, it's a mess. Ooh. Look. It's not ready. Okay. It's not ready. You think they released it too late. I hope they can get most of these issues fixed. Be sad to go through the whole main story quest with things like this. Yeah. Oh. 
this is a serious issue. I can't believe that uh, I had to dig into the forums to find it. And it's concerning enough. It's concerning enough that it makes me wonder um, what other serious issues there could be present with some of these models. Like, I, I'm worried that we might be uh, unpleasantly surprised by some of the things that we end up finding once we're in the game and people start looking more carefully at their characters in different situations uh, because that is seriously bad. This is a short back and sides cut. This happens on, yeah, yeah, it's a mess. This is the Hildebrand cut, just vanishes into his neck. Oh, this is the smart side comb cut. I appreciate a lot of people are upset with visual changes to certain parts of the character, but this is busted. Like, yeah, I understand. It's okay. <laughs> this is a whole other level. There's, there's, you know, cosmetic issues and subjective concerns with the way that things are shaped differently in some cases, but this is a whole, this is an actual bug. A lot of technical issues here I didn't even notice. The first one you showed is probably the most common hair for Highlander, so the clipping will affect a lot of people. I was so anxious to see what the damage with the eyebrow face paint would be. I didn't look for other issues. Uh, I didn't I didn't notice what appears to be strange artifacts in my character's hair during the last sequence. Yeah, you can see that at the top. Oh my god. Whoa, yeah. I don't know if, is this, yeah, there's some, some splotchiness going on, on the top of the head. Yeah, that's a good picture of it. What the fuck? At first I thought it might be related to the viper effects, but it's present even without the glow. Yo. I'd still say I'm more bothered by the eyebrows, though. It's not a new problem, but it feels more noticeable now with all the upgrades. Yeah, it's like a wig falling off. Wow. Well, that is horrific. And I do hope that, um... I hope, th I hope they see this and pay attention to it because it's not even like this deserves its own separate thread man like you need to make a separate thread about this because i you, this is in the highlander eyebrows thread and uh it's it's a way bigger issue than that like highlander eyebrows just don't they don't exist so i, I hope the guy will make a brand new thread about it or somebody else will um but yeah that's it